It will roll in in 3, 2, 1, a hey, good eye. What up, it's your boy. Santa Scruzzi back with another intellectual and very smart video for you. In this video, I will be talking about. No, actually, first of all, I gotta let you know about my good friend Curtis. He's about to join us today. Say good day, Curtis. So yeah, hey, good evening. So the purpose of this interview and report is to show us about how businesses and technolo technology work more efficiently in this digital and technological renaissance era. Isn't that right, Curtis? Yes, sir. Tonight. What else will we be learning tonight, Curtis? A lot. We'll be talking about a lot of things. Um, I will explain about how cloud computing is done in today and discuss the disadvantages of it. So, um, the public views it as like one of the best things, cl cloud computing, but it ain't really. And also, we'll take a look at how ICT is making companies and businesses work more efficiently and faster, I reckon. Yeah. Well, that seems interesting, eh? Yeah. I reckon, eh? But that ain't all of it. I, 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 please, please do continue. So, um, yeah, I will also tell you a story about how a company hires talented people work all over the globe and telecommuting. Lastly, you will be talking about, um, about how outsourcing is unhealthy for the business, meaning its disadvantages. What is cloud computing, Curtis? And like, what are other, I don't know, companies that use it? Do you know, make it a better company, you know, try to improve their product? Well, for starters, like, cloud storage. Like, according to Google, it's a cloud computing model in which data is stored on remote servers accessed from the internet or the cloud. Yeah. Let me just loosen up a bit, because there's going to be a lot of information coming through. I, I, I'm sorry. So, um, uh, um, Instagram is a good example of a company that uses cloud storage. Yeah, um, Instagram initially had focused in spreading the name of their new photo sharing application slash software. But as soon as their product was used by hundreds of thousands, they changed their focus into making the experiences of the users much better. They did that by storing the data of the users into what used to be a small single server into buying a portion of Facebook's clouds to capacitate their increasing audience. So like, Instagram really went far with it, eh? Why yes it has, Instagram, eh? Yeah, um, so anyways, like, what are some disadvantages that's been coming with it? So, um, but back to it, um, cloud storage has some downfalls too, right? Um, I shall list them. So, but, um, confidentiality of data, that's one. So, um, you don't want your data to be leaked or, like, a hacker could gain access to the service and of the storage system and um, another one is like the sensitivity of the documents that you put up in there like documents can be susceptible and vulnerable to be damaged or stolen by unauthorized users accessibility like if there is an internet connection you can't access your work like this has just been pretty bad for me like because I live in um, rural Australia so yeah um, when internet connections are down or slow I can't really access my journalism stuff also availability of online applications like other cloud storage you know them like um, like OneDrive needs the local computers software applications to manipulate and edit the data uploaded thanks for all that eh? 
Um, so, moving on. Well, what is ICT? And how has it been affecting the productivity of businesses and, you know, just daily things in the workplace? Well, for starters, I'm a, ICT is short for Information and Communications Technology and it has increased the efficiency and the speed of the office works everywhere from connecting servers and maintaining firewalls to keep the unhealthy bastards from trying to gain access yeah yeah well wouldn't we just want to keep all our da data 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 safe data data i don't know hey. <laughs> yeah that's right mate um wells fargo is a bank that utilizes the c in ict rhyming accidentally <laughs> communication like oh um, that's I'm sorry about that so like they're one of the big four banks in USA and still be able to keep about 70 million clients globally with the use of CRM which is short for customer relationship management it's a branch of ICT where the clients can get an immediate response from the CRM centers globally located you may know Wells Fargo Center as the home of Philadelphia 76ers Ben Simmons yeah boy but for me it is a company that utilizes ICT really well well what are the advantages and disadvantages anyways first of all it reduces labor costs from automation and mechanization of productivity also it increases flexibility this means that the employees can work at home and or study at their own pace also um, increases capabilities of the small businesses and helps it grow this also increases the ICT skill level of the insourced individuals and would ultimately save the company money wouldn't you reckon hey, on the beat. Yeah. so um, those are the advantages for disadvantages it increases distractions for the online students and the workers. According to fortune.coms and salary.coms, Aaron Govia, that 4% of the people surveyed, surveyed waste about at least half the average workday on non-work related tasks and about less than five hours a week is wasted on phones. It makes employees more vulnerable to advertising and this will therefore increase the lost productivity as mentioned above, no, as mentioned before. So, um, yeah, advertising companies can show you advertisements that you want to see because these companies gather personal information on what you like and what you'd consume. Um, next next disadvantage is that it would increase dependency on ICT equipment okay furthermore cybersecurity is another risk taken when applying ICT on the company yeah nah doesn't seem too good that does it I eh? nah I don't reckon it does I eh? no fam no it doesn't no it doesn't nah it's a bit unhealthy hey Unhealthy, unhealthy. <laughs> so, problems arise a lot in the workplace. Like, yeah. So, one thing causes workers to waste time and lose about three to five hours of productivity. On the other hand, one thing causes workers to waste time and lose seven to eight hours of productivity. And those are weekly numbers? Yeah, man. So, um,. Which one would be time wasted by technology? Well, surely not. 7 to 8 hours a week. That's like one whole shift. I'm sorry, but so in average, people spend more time and work wasted via computer games, social media, internet surfing, bloody buzzfeed quizzes. What? No, wait, fuck. No. Well, what is the other one? 
than time wasted in traffic. What the hell, eh? The happiest man on the left, in his shirt though, has just passed out after his $7,500 property got smashed. And being a great friend like yourself, you think of what will make him better. So, what do, do I do? give him this? Nah, bro. Listen to Sandals Cruzy and give him what he really needs. Harvey Fresh Milk. It's as easy as that. Alright bro, moving on. So like, has there been a company that has been successful on bringing, for, bringing people to work for them hey, the via beat. telecommunication? Like, just, I don't know, working at home? Yes, actually, there is a medical insurance firm that has been a great one. It's called United Health Group. They, this ain't a paid commercial though, is it, eh? Nah, I'm a well-respected field reporter that cannot be biased into telling subjective thoughts and I am Curtis and all I'm telling are straight facts. <laughs> aye, 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 aye. please continue. Um, okay, um, United Health Groups is a medical insurance company which utilizes the digital technology of telecommunication. About 25% of their employees work in isolation, either at the com comfort of their own home or in a separate office of their own or with their friends. I mean, yeah. These employees work all over the world and also have main branches at India, Minneapolis, Brazil, Philippines, Curtis, um, Ireland and UK. They have about 230,000 employees working worldwide. Well, if you have 230,000 employees, um, you must be doing something right, eh? Yeah, should be a success story, I reckon. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they pay as little as about 2 to 5 Aussie dollars to their employees in the third world and that means they'll be able to generate a higher amount of profits. Happy days. Well, I say um, if YouTube doesn't really work out for the for me in the future, like, cause for, for the past couple weeks, YouTube hasn't been able to pay for my rent. So like, um, what do I need to become a telecom worker? Oh, um, okay, so um, to be able to telecommunicate with other co-workers, different ICT equipment are needed, such as the following. Maybe an i5 CPU, that's probably the minimum. For an efficient multimedia, media, multimedia video conferencing, a webcam, a headphone with a connected microphone, an internet router and a modem modulator demodulator security and safety issues may arise when working remotely therefore a firewall must be always up and alongside anti-malware and anti virus softwares the printers and server computers might need some physical security as well to avoid information and data leak. So, um, last topic of the day. You ready? Yes, fam. Hurry up. My dog needs to be fed. I gotta go home. I'm sorry. Alright, so, um, outsourcing. Love it or hate it? Go. I ain't supposed to be biased, but I'll just dish out some disadvantages for ya. Well, if that's what you wanna do, Please continue. Alright, first of all, outsourcing is the business practice of hiring a party outside a company to perform services and create goods that traditionally were performed in-house by the company's own employees and staff, usually done in a cost-cutting measure. It can affect jobs ranging from customer support to manufacturing and to the back office. 
so like to to editing in one week that's a bit too much work for me so like i had to outsource it to india so like a lot of hard work so like um apologies for the quality of the last video if you if you even watch my videos curtis yeah it's like, I'm so, um, yeah so i'm sorry for the quality of the last video yeah continue with the disadvantages of yeah, sourcing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, one of the biggest disadvantages of outsourcing is the risk of losing sensitive data and the loss of confidentiality. Since since the outsourcing provider may work with other companies as well, they might not give you 100% time and attention to the single company. Another one is hidden costs and legal problems may arise if the outsourcing terms and conditions are not clearly defined. That's why you gotta read really, uh, explain. Yeah, 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 that's the problem, eh? That's why you just gotta start reading the service level agreement before you just gotta sign on something, eh? Because, like, oh, lots of dodgy. Sure. <laughs> Just for other important stuff, the ones that you just gotta pay for, all that stuff. You just it's advisable to um yeah, read the uh, service level me. agreement. Isn't that right, Curtis? Listen to this man. This man spits some bare facts of fam in it. Yeah, and also not understanding the culture of the outsourcing provider and the location where you outsource to may lead to poor communication and lower Productivity. Yeah, and the, um, the Indians weren't really too understanding, and I couldn't really understand what they were doing. We were talking about like most of the time. So yeah, there's like a tiny bit of language and cultural barrier. Alright, so um, problems with quality can also arise if the outsourcing provider doesn't have proper processes and or may be inexperienced in working in an outsourcing relationship if also important functions are being outsourced an organization is mightily dependent on the outsourcing provider risks such as bankruptcy and financial loss cannot be controlled with that now i'm woke like that ass like it's how, this talk has been so beneficial. It's just opened up my third eye to the problems about digitizing the workforce. Yeah, I just gotta wake up as much people as possible. And now that you're broadcasting this video, I think you're very helpful, fam, innit? Alright, alright, good man, good man, good man, good man. So, like, is there any, is there any other, is there any companies that does um outsourcing i mean who wouldn't want to outsource like realistically i mean think about your economical gains in the long term <laughs> yeah i guess i right. um probably not the indians next time no i'm sorry i'm, I'm kidding i'm kidding don't don't crucify me yeah statistically most of the outsourced works are in india yeah yeah i can believe that um so back to my question Ah uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry. So um, IBM has been an American company since 1911, but until 1980s, IBM started to experiment with outsourcing. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, excuse me. So um, this was done in a way to increase and boost productivity and to save a lot of money. Outsourced in India and has not looked back on bringing a majority of jobs back to USA Only main branches and main buildings stayed in Manhattan and its main branches on first world countries So can I go now? I mean, is that a wrap? Alright, 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 hold up. Let me wrap this all up first Alright, bro, go ahead So, yeah This has been ya boy Santos Cruzy, subscribe if you're new around here, you know, and comment about any of the topics that you just you ha you heard today, and just voice out your opinion, you know.
It's your boy Curtis. Happy birthday to me. Yesterday, it was my birthday. <laughs> Say what you think about it. If you had any past experiences about it. So like, yeah, about any topics that we have covered in this video. So yeah, and see you to the next video.